LG G8 hands on review. LG asks for your hand, doesn't put a ring on it. There's a good, but not great phone underneath the LG G8 underneath my waving palm. It's another silly trick this time a new way to unlock the smartphone that distracts from LG's potential internal greatness. Its headline feature is the ability to read the blood in your palm's veins to unlock the phone, then trigger gestures to control music, take calls and wave off alarms all without touching the screen. Hand ID on the LG G8 is set up to be a futuristic way to authenticate and control your phone, but it hasn't worked like its minority report premise suggested and, even if it did work flawlessly, it doesn't make much sense. Update: We're still working on a final score for our LG G8 review, trying to determine the true price it'll sell at, and how the battery life and camera perform with a true week of testing. Stay tuned for the final verdict soon. This shouldn't divert your attention from other groundbreaking tech inside LG's flagship Android phone for 2019, like video portrait mode and a vibrating crystal sound OLED for a whole less display. This is where the real innovation is. LG G8 has no top speaker hole, and its vibrations provide a wider source of audio through the seamless screen. It's a novel idea found in LG's high-end OLED TVs and tech that the nearly bezel-less Samsung Galaxy S10 doesn't have but could really use. LG is also first to video portrait mode, harnessing the Snapdragon 855 chipset. It takes what you love about portrait mode photos and applies the same background blurring effect, which makes for less distracting video. It's not perfect, and it's limited to the main rear camera, but it works, to an extent. There's just one simple configuration of the LG G8, 128GB of internal storage with 6GB of RAM, expandable with a microSD card slot. That's up from 64GB of storage in the LG G7, which is some relief. The 32-bit Hi-Fi Quad DAC also makes it a good value if you're an audiophile. Its dual-lens rear camera offers a way to take regular and wide-angle photos, but lacks the third telephoto lens of the LG V40. That may not disappoint you, but so far the photos out of this camera won't wow you either, especially those shot with the front camera. The 3,500 mAh battery and quick charge 3.0 require more testing, so we're holding off on giving this phone a final review score. Ultimately, the LG G8 just doesn't change the smartphone. It doesn't fold. It doesn't have a fancy punch hole camera to extend the display from top to bottom, and it doesn't have an in-screen fingerprint sensor. What it does have are new audio and video capturing tricks you should consider, and a hand ID feature you should ignore. And at its launch price, unless you get a deal through your carrier, this phone deserves to be ignored, too. LG G8 ThinQ Price and Release Date The LG G8 price is all over the place, and that's part of the problem. It officially costs $819, according to LG, or $849, according to BNH Photo and Best Buy, in the US. It's much too expensive for a phone of this class. Surprise! It's already on sale for $699, and through a carrier contract, just $649. How do we even judge that against the competition? Who knows how long these introductory promotions will last? The LG G8 release date is April 12th in the US, and LG is planning to launch the less powerful LG G8s in the UK and Europe. Not stopping there, the LG V50 is also on the way it's the LG V40 on 5G steroids, but doesn't have a release date and it's bound to be a lot pricier than its predecessor. Display and Design The LG G8 has a 6.1-inch OLED display with a notch, matching the size and top cutout of the G7, but not the display type. Last year's phone had an LCD screen touting something LG called Super Bright Mode. We found the LG G8 to get plenty